It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. We have an important date in history today. Uh, Pat, uh, with all due respect, the uh, 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 an event that was made famous in song. Uh, t- for my money, one of the great songs of the era. The day the music died? Uh, no, the wreck oh. of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a great. I mean, I, no, no. No, I think it's. I, I, I think Gordon it's Lightfoot. Barely a song. Gordon Lightfoot, underrated oh. as an artist in general. It's a musical. Art. And God bless him. He's still with us. Sundown is one of my all-time faves. Oh, the guy's a great sure. artist. The circle. Of he's a poet. I would say. If you could read my mind, oh. a uh, Canadian gem, mm. a, a, a universal gem. But um, well, is this no. the date that the Edmund Fitzgerald sank? Uh, that's correct. Ah, that's correct. Yeah, it was today, though. It's not like coming up next week, as is your want. <laughs> <laughs> it was the tenth, right? <laughs> Look at him; he's been caught. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is like uh, no. Two that's weeks because some that. moron said, "Hey, man, huh? today's the hundredth anniversary of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald." No, it's not. Well, uh, so then why'd it? you bring it up? Well, when is it? Is it the 50th? The Edmund Fitzgerald sadly uh, went down <laughs> <laughs> on this date in 1975. But it was okay. November 10th. That's correct. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Let's just move forward. We there's a certain, every there's a certain semen. solemnity, I think, that needs a certain respect level for the... Uh, they were brave men all. Great song. I mean, and then the gales of November yeah. come early. Just a terrific yeah, it is. Yeah. I think it really is poetry. The big it's, lake they call Gitchy Goomy. It's, it's one of those perfect songs. There's not a word Why do they call it Gitchy Goomy? Well, he worked hard on that well, That was song. the name used by the natives of the uh, area. Okay. It's a news report to music. That's mm-hmm. all it is. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a tribute, you idiot. Do you go around humming it? No. <laughs> it was mm-hmm. recently voted the worst song to play uh, at a strip club. Uh, sure, <laughs> yeah. It doesn't get you going like that. Yeah, get you a goomy this. At least it's long, though. You get a lap dance with that one. Oh, you get, you're, you get your money's worth. <laughs> it's seven yeah. minutes. There's no bridge. Uh, a, point, a, point, the dance? a point well taken. The music? Pat, now, could, uh, with, with, the, with the solemnity, if you will, the gravitas oh, that this is shut due, up, shut up, would you shut mind? Up. Just The first letter. draft was about a jazz singer. It sits down below like the ship we all know. The rectum of Ella Fitzgerald. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> She'd scat when she sang and her bottom would bang. A disaster when the winds would come early. <laughs> A doctor, it said, would always turn his head when performing her colon procedure. <laughs> <laughs> There's polyps and corn and Louis Armstrong's horn. Oh, the rectum of Ella Fitzgerald. <laughs> oh, God, that's beautiful. When like Pat does horn. that, he sounds like a Muppet. <laughs> and it's not that far off from Gordon Light. Hey, Pat, we can do that with our new puppet. Oh, Have you seen the Pat puppet yet? No, I've heard about them. Oh, they they're have... good. They're good. Are when they are we going to see these darn puppets? When the time is right. Aren't we looking at the Pat puppet? <laughs> yeah. Aren't we all puppets? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, I never thought about it. Wow, this is, well, it just turned into a Twilight Zone. <laughs> yeah. We've been puppets all along. Yeah. Uh, I love the reference to Louis Armstrong. Get your hand out of my um, ass. Cornet there, that was in fun. <laughs> Cornet. <laughs> Tw- trumpet, whatever. Hey, uh. Did you know that Louis Armstrong uh, never so left his, uh, never moved out of his house, sense. did he? Oh, he, stayed he grew up same? in? He, he lived in, like, stayed, Queens or something. Stayed in the same place, huh? Ooh, yeah. Wow, that's not interesting at all. <laughs> no, he had, he had the money. So he, could, just, he, he could he have moved, and he, 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 move. was, he was asked about it, and he famously said, ah, oh, no, I love living here. Yeah, yeah. Like so house. why would he move? He goes, we'll never get better neighbors. There well, you why, go. Well, so oh, what's the nice? story there? Because every other... <laughs> Other person. He said he loved his house. There were leaves of green. Yeah. What a wonderful guys. Guys. Every morning. Guys uh, blue. Uh, <laughs> could you Hello, Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Well, Gordo. <laughs> oh. oh, how's it going, fellas? Hey, I was just praising the great song, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, and uh, sad oh, date. Today. Sad Thanks. date today, November 10th. Oh, I can't believe you guys are actually on the air today. A lot of, lot of radio stations and people and governments. <laughs> You know, it's a holiday. Is that right? Day well, you got to honor the great men that were aboard. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's a huge day for, you know, shipwrecks and sure. songs about shipwrecks. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Do you have more than just the one? 
Uh, oh, gosh, Tom, I got a couple of albums worth of shipwreck tunes. Oh, I have no idea. Can you favor us with one of them? Oh, the, well, I don't know if I could do all 37 verses of uh, the uh, tale of the Titanic. Oh, oh yeah, oh. no. The, I just do the first that. verse. Yeah, What's that? First. Just do the first verse of the the, the the tale of the Titanic. You're not the boss of me. <laughs> <laughs> then just do the second verse. Hey, the legend is on about this boat that's now gone. It was sailing from England to New York. <laughs> what, do, do, do they all go well, to the same? There it is. Do you have one? What about the wreck of the Mary Deer? The Mary Deer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, tell us about the Mary Deer. I don't know anything about the Mary Deer. Who's Mary, Mary Deer? Deer? Sank in heavy fog off another, the coast of another, another, Nova um, Scotia. Another sad sinking uh, there. All in my book. Hey, uh, I actually, Tom, I was calling because I'm a little upset here. This was trying to have a usual great uh, Edmund Fitzgerald day like I always do. Uh -huh. And I turned on your little show there, and I hear uh, this fella uh, over there singing yeah. uh, parody songs. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. Was, I wondered if you'd heard that. I would yet. say it's a tribute, really. A tribute, really. Oh, yeah, that Pat Godwood. I would call mm -hmm. it a parody, and I think uh, everybody knows, uh, Tom, when it comes to comedy, parody is the lowest form of oh. humor. <laughs> <laughs> I would say radio is the lowest form of humor. But well, yeah, parody on the radio. Oh, that's unbelievable. <laughs> Well, listen, uh, I, I don't know how... Uh, Mr. Godwin, is it? Yes. yes, yeah. Pat Godwin, yeah. I don't yeah. know how you'd feel if uh, maybe I was out there uh, doing uh, parodies of uh, Orange Barrels or Toast or whatever. <laughs> maybe Gangsta Folk or something. Well, those aren't yeah. Pat Godwin songs. So. Uh, right, sure, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Dude, maybe you could do one of Everybody uh, has Shaved Their Pubes. or what, What's that song called? It's called <laughs> Nobody Has Pubes Anymore. <laughs> sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, nobody has a sense of humor anymore. <laughs> they have to steal my songs, right? Yeah. <laughs> Gross! It's supposed to be a tribute. Is that Josh? Yeah. yeah hi, hi, Gordon. Oh, I'm a big hey, fan. I heard, uh, I heard you like my song "Sundown." I really love like it. Hearing that. Love it. I got, I got a version of that. Do you? Go down, it's stinky down there. <laughs> what? What that? Now, well, now that, uh, Gordon, somebody, how do you feel about that? That part? I, I, I am not a fan. I don't, no, I, no, I, I don't that's, know. That's just is, the first no. line. I really oh, thought it, Tommy! Thought it was bad enough he was singing about some jazz singer's butt, but now, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not just any jazz singer, Ella Fitzgerald, Ella, the it's queen, just good a task. Uh, well, let's see how Pat likes it. What if, what if I parody one of my own songs about him? Oh, oh. okay, good, good, oh. good. I can see you sitting there with your natural dark hair, shouting <laughs> out lyrics about a dairy air. Godwin, you better take care. I'm going to send my couple goons and thugs down there. Bravo. Godwin, nice. stop stealing my tunes, or you'll get a nasty visit from a few of my goons. <laughs> Uh, Christy Lee once again at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. What's going on over there? A Florida inmate has been charged with assaulting his cellmate. The incident occurred following um, a confrontation. Um, um, these guys know it's prison, right? Yeah, this happens. I yeah. Think. yeah. I... In which his cellmate refused to perform a so-called courtesy flush while on the john. Well, <laughs> this is assault now? <laughs> yes. Well, there you go. According to investigators, 33-year-old Christopher Callen beat 57-year-old... <laughs> Amado Domingo Scuvedo doing a, a confrontation inside their cell Beat at us. Monroe County Detention Center in Key West. <laughs> the victim said he was cleaning the toilet when Callan grabbed him by the shirt and started to punch him. Yikes. <laughs> Police noted that Domingo Scuvedo said, I had no idea he was being attacked out of the blue. It then it seemed random. When questioned, Callan complained about his cellmate's flagellance. Flagellants. And said he failed to give a courtesy flush when using their shared toilet. Oh, He's been charged with aggravated battery. Wow. <laughs> Don't act like this isn't your favorite story. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I mean, first of all, ironically, he did kick the crap out of him. <laughs> <laughs> so that was uh, that was handy then. Uh, the courtesy flush. You know what the courtesy flush is there? Oh, yeah, you got to flush it before you're all done. You know, you got to pile, you got to yeah, send oh, it out. I, the problem is I, I don't like having my rear end soaked. You got to lift up, though, still. No, you not in those places bit. you don't. Wait a minute. You, 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 you don't want Hold that it. flying back up at you. So you're incapable of flushing the toilet while seated because I prefer not the water splashes your ass. Is that what you're telling us? Yeah, that's I, exactly you're, what he's you're telling You're coating me. your buttocks with poop water. No, you're, right. you're not. Most <laughs> toilets, you're not. Are you kidding? 
I'm a big courtesy flush. Most reasonable toilets, you don't. It doesn't splash. The up only time like I that. don't courtesy flush is when I go. I'm gonna have to take a look at this one. Oh, I need to see if I need to see if the look matches the feel. I, I like to, I like to sing. It's something uh, exotic. Oh, yeah, my yeah. Oh, Thanks for the courtesy flush that you noon and little Bob Hope <laughs> tribute. <run. laughs> Pat, you got a better one? Wow. I, I don't know. Uh, I think if we dig a uh, dead guy up, he'd have a better one. <laughs> the warden had a problem in the Key West jail. <laughs> the prisoners were there. It was an epic fail. The one guy was gas. He didn't courtesy flush. The cellmate made a shiv from an old hairbrush. Let's fight. What? 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 Made a shiv from an old No, no, no. We heard that. The let's what? what? Let's fight. Oh, okay. Let's right. fight. Sorry. Let's <laughs> fight. <laughs> yeah, buddy, let's fight. I did let's not hear Get your minds out of, the, out of the toilet. <laughs> You're stinking up the joint tonight. We're going to have a jailhouse fight. Everybody calm down. Much more there. clear there because of the rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> the one, um, you know what? Let's Wait, take a break. Come back. <laughs> and uh, Pat, again. Pat, send me those lyrics. Oh, oh, so that's fine. I'll, I'll give him a polish. I gotta go. I'm gonna go answer, gonna go answer the door. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be. Uh, we'll be right Let's back. Fight. That was. Uh, that was amazing. I, in my head, I went. Well, Pat's finally had it. <laughs> yep. He's. Yep. No, remember the two. The two guys got into a fight. Yes, they got into a fight. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. I said, "Let's fight." The opposite like, of what we well, heard. Well, that's not what we heard. Like I, prison I heard, I heard, I heard oh, a rush. A love connection had been made. Uh, what I yes. heard. Should we come back and play the great song "Prisoner of Love"? Oh, well, I'd like anything. to hear the rest of Pat's okay, song. Of course. Anything oh, God. When, when we return. Yeah, um, uh, this is the Pop and Tom Show. Coming up next, he wants you to rub his leg. Oftentimes, we do to people what we want done to us. There you go. So. Start rubbing his you. leg. Oh, well, then I don't want to know. Donnie wants me to do that to him, then? What uh -oh. he wants to Maybe. do to me? Uh -oh. That's right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Allie is, uh, of course, uh, she is a uh, comedian, and uh, she is also our, uh, as I said earlier, ambassador to Sexy Time. Ambassador of ass, we like to say. Uh -huh. I'm trying to give this a, oh, little, like a little bit of class. Uh, and uh, Really? The ambassador to Sexy Time is, is classing it up for you? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, you're out of your mind. <laughs> She's, I should start uh, doing the segment with my pinky up. Yes. Yeah. There we go. I, and, and this is all about uh, love troubles. And we try to help yep. out in, in any way we can. And we'll just, uh, we do. let's we go to the mailbag. Dear Allie, my boyfriend has a hard time getting it to stand at attention. Okay. And my best friend says that I should crush up some Vi Viagra and put it in his drink. No. Is this unethical? <laughs> I mean, yes. Kind yes. of. <laughs> She goes on to say it's kind of the opposite of roofing someone. Am I right? No. It well, could be on heart meds. Still trying yes, to. Yes, do uh, not do that. You do not uh, know how it could react. That is, oh, yeah, geez. it's not a good idea. Do people have adverse reactions yes. to that? Yes. Yeah. Four hour if, thing if, you're on, on. if you're on certain types of medications, it wouldn't be appropriate, I'm right. guessing. It's not like I would suggest that uh, you uh, maybe um, bring home your naked college roommate. <laughs> to see if, uh, yeah, yeah. See. Maybe be hotter. Yeah. <laughs> maybe be one's bald. Yeah, try some stuff. Maybe you could, uh, you know, try. How about that? Yeah, geez. You know, this, he needs to, I'm not putting that He in needs mouth. to seek some professional well, help. Uh, some you professional help here. You right. Can't, uh, you don't want to ever give anyone a drug. No, no please don't ever do that. Tell your friend she's a total moron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but does she bring it up? Does she have to say, hey, hon, you want to try some Viagra? Or you yeah, or hey, you, you want to talk to somebody about this yeah. or that kind of thing. Sure. Yeah, just maybe make it subtle. Say, hey, listen, I was kind of, I'm kind of hankering for some ice cream. Why don't we go to Mr. Softies? Oh, <laughs> there's always that route. Wow. There you go. <laughs> hankering. GetRoman.com. There you go. Talk to our friends That's at right. GetRoman.com. They're very, very Absolutely. good. Absolutely. But she's allowed to ask him, right? Like guys aren't going to get super offended, or no, just... no. Yeah, communication's important. He knows it, obviously. Yeah. But I would think if he knows it, he would bring it up, wouldn't he? Wouldn't well, maybe the guy he's secretly bring that gay. up most likely? <gasps> Ooh, uh, maybe he doesn't like her. Yeah. Maybe he's not sexually attracted to Put the drink down. Maybe. I've been told, I've heard from guys, not about necessarily me, but it doesn't matter really what you look like if you're in the mood, right? Like Whoa. They'll, they'll do any 
Buddy? I would, I would recommend, or I would, yes. I would say that. It's probably know. not what she looks like. It's probably what she's not doing. Ah. Or it or is a legit may, he may have issue. A, he may have yeah. a physical issue. He, exactly. Yeah. He really Actually, is. yeah, I knew a girl who was super hot who would date this guy, and he could only... You know, well, yeah, do we get can off out. in certain weird ways, and mm. it had nothing to do with her. So I think you're right. It could yeah. just be a weird yeah. thing that they're into. Hmm. Once yeah. again, communication. Yeah, but this yeah. is uh, my favorite word from Chick McGee is specificity. Yeah, ask him. This guy may be into some incredibly weird, sick thing, right. and you know, yeah, well, let's not be yeah. judgmental. Yeah, yeah. don't well, no, less. Be it's much more fun. Jello. <laughs> it, <laughs> might be, the lights on. But it might be sick and wrong. Okay. Yeah, who knows? Okay. Maybe he just yeah. wants the lights on, like Bat said. Yeah. Come on, don't, don't worry. Planet. Problem solved. Next yep. letter. <laughs> Dear Allie. My boyfriend and I have known each other for 20 years, and we've been in a relationship for a little over a year. I have told him on multiple occasions, I need him to kiss me with some real passion. <laughs> That's a turn on. It's far more this this get it's far more of a turn on than rubbing my leg. Rubbing my leg is not a turn on and definitely not foreplay. How do I get him to understand these things? <laughs> oh no. What? Josh, tell I want to take this. I, I, I tell him. Uh, it sounds tell like you, but and it sounds like you have. He needs to listen. <laughs> well, first of all, it's uh, rubbing a leg. It would be foreplay to some. Right, first right. Of, you know, let's start there. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is it his, is it his leg? <laughs> He's rubbing his own leg, is he? <laughs> He's <laughs> not ready. Where her friend's leg. sure it's the leg? <laughs> yeah. It sounds to me like she's a little bit too uh, excited about having something to complain about. But that's just me. He, I don't know. Maybe I'm wow. wrong. He might think it's still flirting because they've been friends forever. So if he did touch her leg, that was probably a big deal back in the day. But now you gotta, well, you got to put a little effort into it. Uh, potentially, he wants you to rub his leg. Oftentimes, we do to people what we want done to us. There you go. So... Start rubbing his you. leg. Oh, well, then I don't want to know. Donnie wants me to do that to him then? What uh -oh. he wants to Maybe. do to me? Uh -oh. That's right. <laughs> yep. uh oh Oh. Get some Crisco. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and maybe uh, yeah, you're, you're going to need, your, going you're gonna need some duct tape, a belt, and a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe start small, like a Tabasco bottle. Yeah. Oh, Allie, I, I, was, key. Yeah, yeah. Allie, I don't yeah. blame you for this. No, no, the key is, and Josh will back me up on this, you have to relax. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry. Let's go to our next letter. I think you've been on no help there. <laughs> Dear Allie, my husband gets a massage twice a month, usually after playing golf. I'm pretty sure that they get happy endings, which I never really cared about because it's kind of mechanical and emotionless, in my opinion. Well, it's still But now he's planning a golf weekend away with his buddies, and I'm worried it's going to be way more of a thing than just happy endings. I feel like if I, oh, I feel like I look away to give him an inch, and now he's taking a mile. Should I forbid him to go? Is he taking the massage therapist with him? I don't understand. No, but I think she thinks going they're going to actually. I don't understand. Okay, well, either. here's what I say: uh, talk to him. Let's yeah. go, honey. Uh, look, I don't want to accuse you of anything, but uh, are you? Is this is this trip on the up and up? And uh, try to work on your analogies a little more. Give you an inch, take them out. They, they, you don't need yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I think you plan a girls' trip and just go golfing with your girls and follow him. Why I'm, not? I didn't know what. Why not? See what he's doing. No. See what's really up. What is yeah. wrong it's with more than just a massage that weekend, I'm sure. If you don't trust Tell him somebody. to take bail money if he's going to a strange place and intends to. <laughs> Tell yeah. her to put her hands on her hips and go, don't you call me if you need somebody to come get you in jail. I tell you that, I'm not going to come get you. You let your whore pick you up. That's right. You and your whore. Okay, guys go on golf trips all the time. Yeah. Nothing happens. I feel like this is quite a leap. Yeah, I do yeah. too. I mean, you don't even know that he's getting happy endings. Right. It could be therapeutic. Although massages. you can look up that whatever parlor he's going to. There's a whole website that shows where you can go to get a happy yeah, ending. What? He might be getting them at the club. There might be a massage therapist there yeah, or real something. One. I don't believe there's a website I... that I need you to send me the link to, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> We did no help there. Let's move on to our next letter. God. Allie Breen. It's A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N. Send Allie your questions about uh, sexy time. Dear Allie, my best friend is having an affair and was using me as an alibi way more than I realized. All right. We live in a small town and her <laughs> husband started to hear rumors and he's now asking me if she's talking to me about anything to do with them having problems since we're spending so much time together. I have no idea what to say. How do I handle this? I got this one. You say nothing. Well, how okay. can she get him to stop talking to her about it? Uh, I don't know. That's tough. 
you need to take me out of the middle of this. Yeah, and, I don't really want to be involved. This is not my. Right. This is my not my situation. This is your situation. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like it's going to blow up and she's going to get dragged into it. Yeah. Right. So, you yeah. don't it's want an unfair that. position you've been put in. The yeah. quicker you give me ten thousand dollars, the <laughs> less likely it is. I'll, I'll tell, tell her. Now we're on to something. The answer was there the whole there time. There we go. Yeah. And we missed it. We, we have time for one more oh, letter. Happily Allie. not talk. Are you, Dear Allie, hang on. Do you need to get to a bus? Yes. What are you? <laughs> you are like fast, fast, fast. It's okay. He's not paying attention, and we're no. You're not paying attention. attention. You want to go to the next letter all the time. Well, well, I can do too. Because you solved you the can problem, tell when, yeah, Tom is bored. Yeah, did ten thousand dollars? We'll move on. Oh. I'm, I'm, there's no, there's nothing else to oh, talk who about. Who has ten thousand dollars laying around? <laughs> this guy's going to come up with it. When well, he finds he better out. find out where he can get it. I can tell you that. Jeez. You're right, Tom. Sir. What else you got? Dear Allie, I have been dating a guy for six months who I met at a business convention in Vegas. <laughs> we live in two different states, so it's been a long distance thing. He always comes to visit me or we meet for a weekend in a different city, but he won't invite me to his house or even his state for that matter. <laughs> married. My friends all say he's married. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Oh, P.S. He says it's boring where he lives and that he has an apartment that I'd hate. Married. Because there's a wife there. Yeah. And, and his yeah. three kids. And yeah, a family. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, a dog. She <laughs> yeah, she's going to hate the apartment <laughs> <Yeah>. because there's <laughs> some lady in there. Oh, all that's on your couch. <laughs> oh, honey, uh, really, calm down. It's the cleaning lady. Uh -huh. Okay, come on. And then she's, uh, she's taking care of those two kids. <laughs> Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.